Good afternoon. We've got a crime alert alert tonight. It's an NBC 15 exclusive shots fired this morning during a dramatic takedown and a tractor supply in Theodore. Witnesses say two men were trying to steal merchandise. That's when customers took action determined to stop them. NBC 15's Lisa Libriniak joins us now. Lisa, the shots did not come from the suspects. Nope, one customer pulled out his gun and shot out at least one of the tires on the suspect's SUV. It was a bizarre Black Friday morning at this tractor supply in Theodore. Don't come to them. <laughs> Theodore and rob a tractor supply without knowing the person's going to have a gun, you know, I mean, everybody's walking around with guns in Theodore. Ryan Maxey and his fiance Katie Clark were in the parking lot when they heard shots fired after two men loaded up their buggy with unpaid merchandise. And I was trying to call 911 while we were seeing what was going on. Turns out the two suspects thought they were going to get away, but customers had a different plan. Witnesses say one of the suspects was pulled out of the getaway SUV by a customer. The other one took off, but he didn't make it far since a different customer shot out one of the tires. They kind of beat on each other uh, inside the car. The guy was trying to give him licks to the hand so he wouldn't start the car. Unfortunately, he was able to get it started and then floored it back. So the guy had to step back so he didn't get hit. And when he floored it back, he come out this entrance place and went to that light right there and hit a U-turn and kind of did a couple uh, donuts in the road. Mobile police later finding that car abandoned with at least one flat tire on Highway 90 at the I-10 entrance. The guy uh, that got, was in the car, he had a mask on, I so it was kind of difficult to tell. Maxie and other witnesses say Mobile police eventually found the suspect that fled, saying when he returned, he had a whole new outfit on. This is him on the left, Troy Brown, and on the right is Toby Priest, the man customers pulled out of the car before Brown fled. Both are in Metro Jail tonight. Witnesses are thankful no one was hurt in the crossfire when that one customer shot out the tire. Now coming up at 6, I'll have more on how this story gets even more bizarre. Ashley.